Good morning. It's currently 6.48 a.m. Just woke up. The sun's about to come out and everything. I was about to make my bed, but uh, we have this guy kind of taking over right now. So my bed's going to be messy for a little bit. I'll make it when he gets up and moves around. All right, anyway, we got to get to this morning's project because it's almost 7. So I think I'm going to place this camera down and then I'll continue talking. I'm basically a full-time college student and so what I make sure to do is just to conquer the mornings so I can do stuff related to creating stuff. Um, I like to use the first two hours in the morning. So today we're going to be working on a little tech piece that I've just been, you know, messing around with. And before I like to get into work, I like to something I've written out to just read, to remind myself, you know, prepare myself. I kind of like to think of this as war and I'm a, I'm a warrior ready for it. It's really tough for me to just <laughs> sit down every day and get to work. It's really not that easy, but you know, I want to make cool shit and I have a vision in my mind for it. So I sit down every day to like work towards it. And so I make sure to remind myself this Japanese philosophy called Kaizen, but it's basically just improving 1% better every day. So at the end of the session, if I don't really make that much progress, it's okay, I tried and I'll come back tomorrow. If I do, well, you'll see it at the end. So uh, I'm gonna get started with that and I'll just record updates as we go. Here we are with a little tech of piece and then I want him to, to sway. Um, I might try to work on his hair potentially swaying. Hair physics are very hard to just replicate and I have to, I would have to like replace his face underneath in Photoshop. So for now, I'm not gonna worry about that. Next we're probably gonna make his eyes blink. So yeah, right now we just have both of his hands just moving like this. As we can see here, I can simply move it. All right, let me put things back where they're supposed to be. So I'm gonna get to it and then I'll update you guys after with what I did today. Once I get to it. All right, people, it is 8.46. I just recorded the time-lapse I do every morning for Instagram, which you should check out if you don't see it already. Anyway, let's get to what I did this morning. So this is a bootleg setup. My my QuickTime player on the Mac doesn't record sound, so we're gonna have to listen through the speakers on my Mac. I know, it's probably gonna sound like shit, but you're gonna get the premise of like, cause you'll see. I'll just break down kind of what I did today briefly. We got the eyes blinking, so up close it looks kind of bad, but from afar, it doesn't. So, and the next made him sway. And what I did for that was using the puppet pin tool. I used default position. Let's look at the uh, layers down here. So all these below, these are all position marked, and these top two are the most important. So I just selected both of them in here. We can see these are two bend, and so this this makes it rotate, and <laughs> we can make him do that. This one is rotating to the left, and then this one is offset just a couple, you know, little seconds, and it's gonna be bending a little bit more. Obviously, that's way exaggerated what I just did, and then that's what makes like a little, you know, I tried to mimic this kind of swaying, and then I just duplicate it over and over throughout the whole song. She wanna show me love. I haven't get copyrighted at all for this, but YOLO. So yeah, um, we'll see what happens with the rest of this video. I mean, I will record tomorrow morning and then we'll work on this again. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. So apparently last night I left my camera on. So the battery was exhausted and I had to charge it. It was basically dead. So now it's eight o'clock listening to party next door. Beautiful day this morning. I, I woke up uh, a little later because I stayed up playing Rocket League, as I do, and I was fucking losing, man. It, it was it was tough. See, I'm working on the little tech of piece. I guess I should turn this around. It's gonna look really bad on here, but um, we got some coloring on it and we're adding some snowfall right now and my MacBook is barely rendering it because it's so old. I have like another hour to go on this, so probably update after that or 
next day's adventure with it. I'm so upset I didn't get to record this morning because I, I was planning on a whole like, you know, beginning and after. So yeah, I'm just gonna get, I'm just gonna get back to this and we'll see where we take it, so. Okay, so 7.15, just woke up, did my thing in the bathroom. I think we're basically done with the little tech of piece. I just need to like, you know, tune it a little bit and then we're ready to like render it and post it. So, <coughs> COVID. Let's go, uh, let's go see it on the computer. Welcome to the computer. Okay, so here it is. A lot has changed. So this is what we got. So we're gonna listen through the MacBook again because my computer just won't record computer sound. So here it is. It's rendering when it does that. I'm so sorry. All right, um, the reason why I go slow-mo is because obviously, as we know, my computer is old, cannot handle these things, but hopefully you get the premise of looking at him and seeing what was added. We fix his blinking, and he blinks a little bit more often, like every four seconds or something. The dreads are all moving in sync, and I'll show you guys just how the keyframes look. And we have him swaying, we have the snowfall, and and then here we made it vertical because, you know, going forward, it would be cool to make, you know, Spotify visuals or, I don't know, maybe someone wants to promote on their um, story on their Instagram. So yeah, this one, two, three here, this is the, the dreads and I went in the order of one, two, three. And, you know, I'm using the puppet pin tool. So if we go in, so puppet pin tool. These four over here are all positioned, and this makes sure that the dread is gonna just stay up there. And then the only thing affected is this bend. And so all I did was, you know, started it at that point, went up two seconds, and then created a new keyframe by just spinning it. Cause look how it naturally like spins. I essentially just did this with all of them. See, so like this is the little one. And we've got keyframes and I did it for, you know, four. I did four keyframes and then I just duplicated it. And then I went back and edited the the sway to work with the, the hair dread slash, you know, I, I kept going back and forth, back and forth, just to make the physics look a little bit more, you know, realistic. You know, the hair still obviously doesn't look on point, but it's better than what I've done before. As we remember, Kaizen being 1% better every day. So yeah, I mean, it was a process. I had to recreate his face underneath. I could show you that in Photoshop. So as you can see, my layers are fucking disgusting and he's missing, so that's great. So this is the background. This is what it looked like originally. We used this image. This is from Unsplash. So this is the image underneath. And I used this blue and this snow. And you know, I enlarged it. So let's bring it back to where it was. And in the blending mode, I did overlay. And you know, this looked good, but I was like, it needs to look better. So I simply just duplicated the same layer and I applied color burn. So I had to reconstruct his face. As you can see, look where his arm is missing. So this looks gross, you know, when things get put into the right place. Look, look at his little, his little stub. So this is the image I worked off originally, and then I had to reconstruct here. And the tool I used for that was the healing brush and the spot healing brush. So essentially what the healing brush is, well, basically you're stealing like pixels from another part of the scene. So you select the bandage and you hold alt and this little icon appears and over here you'll just click, you know, this red orangey part. And then as you can see, my, my brush, you know, is now using a part of the skin. And so I had to go over it. And this X is like, whatever is in that little area of the, or the plus sign, like it's taking from, and now I'm, I'm gonna do it roughly. And this is basically what I did. And then what you can do is do the spot healing and this one, just a general. It'll take everything around it and make it blend a little better. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Obviously you just gotta play around with it and get a feel for it. 
but essentially that's what I did. When his arm was here, I had to take the white and go over it. Overall, this thing came out really, really, really good. Next up, sir, I'm probably just gonna render it this morning, so I'll just show the final product after this one. Thank you for watching again. Have a good one.